In this tutorial, we're going to um, look at the idea of anchor points. So here, I've just got an example. Um, I've just got this. So we've got a, a metal texture on this. And then I have uh, another texture, which is our bare metal. And then I've just got a metal edge wear um, mask on this, a generator on this. Okay. I've also added some normal details just on the wrong channel. Let's give this a name. Okay. But the actual detail from the the edgeware isn't affecting these normal details. What would I expect to have if this had a curvature map on it? Um, we've got ambient occlusion and curvature on this. Would I expect to see some of this dirt um, appearing in the edges of this normal map as well? And at the minute, it's having no effect on this. So, the older way of getting around this was that you actually had to bake out a separate, a se separate normal map uh, and then bring that normal map back in. But you don't have to do that anymore. There's another way around this, and that's using anchor points. So, let's set this up. So, on my normal map, I said this only contains the normal details. I'm just going to right click, and down at the bottom, I'm going to add in an anchor point. Click on this, uh, we can just give this a name. Um, so I'll actually leave the name normal details. You could give it a different name if you wanted to. And then what we can use do is use other layers to reference this layer name, this anchor point. So the one we want to use is this metal edgeware. So if we just go into this, our generator. Um, certain ones won't give you this option. What we're looking for is we're looking for this micro details section here if it doesn't have that on um, you may have to find a generator that has that particular optionality on there so if i go into the micro details and we'll go back to this in a second but i'll also go down here and we have two things we have our micro normal and we have a micro height um, so obviously we're using normal maps so i'm going to click on this micro normal uh, micro normal click on there and as well as all the things that we can use in there, we have this other tab on this, anchor points. Now, right now this is grayed out. So even though we've got an anchor point set up and we've named it, we can't get to that. And that is because this anchor point is above the layer that we want to actually access. So we need to have that below. So if we just grab that layer and just make sure it's below this metal edgeware. It can be right at the bottom if you want it to be. Let's go back into this. And this time, I'm going to go onto the micro normal, and this time we have our anchor points. So I can click in there, and I'm going to select this normal details. Uh, we just need to go in and tell it what reference channel. So we want to go in and reference our normal. Okay, I'll keep the alpha information. And the final thing we can we need to do with this is just go into our micro details, and just in our micro normal we can just click that to be on, okay? And then we can use our intensity on there to bring that in and out. So essentially what that's doing is, um, it's almost like we've rebaked this out as a separate normal map. We're getting all these details in here. And this will work with anything now. So, uh, well, anything that's on this macro details layer. If I go into the normal one on here, um, let's just go into this. Let me just change this back to normal map. Let's go into our hard surfaces and say we grab one of these. Okay, let me just change the hardness of this mask up and click. You see straight away what it does is it adds that my uh, the um, the edge wear onto that without us having to do anything else to it. Okay, so really really handy, and you can just carry on adding bits that you need to, and it will carry on adding that detail. So that's anchor points. I uh, say really handy that we don't have to bake the normals back out and bring them back in. We can do this all within Substance Painter itself.